Welcome back to the channel, kings and queens. You here with your host, Trucker CEO, man. This right here, I'm about to start doing this podcast. I'm going to try to drop like a podcast weekly. And this is going to be strictly for my rookies. And I'm going to call this series Back to the Basics. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you got a seven-year vet here. But I know it's a lot of rookies out here. And if you didn't know, I used to be Trucker King of Kings 864. I still have that channel, but... You know, due to some situation with that channel, I went ahead and rebranded the channel and now it's called Life with Trucker CEO. I mean, you're going to get trucking, gaming, uh, I, got a, I got a music label, I got all kind of stuff going on. I have other businesses going on, so you're going to see a whole lot of different things on this channel. It's not just going to be trucking. But right now, I'm mostly dropping trucking content, so this right here is a podcast. You probably gonna see either a still picture that says podcast, or I might try to put like some kind of, you know, some moving artwork in the back for you. But you don't need to see me for these back to basics um, podcasts, man. It's just strictly for the rookies that's thinking about getting in a trucking or you in trucking. And I'm really just giving you my perspective. It's not necessarily saying it's right or it's wrong. I'm giving it to you for my for my lens where I see the game going and um, what I would have done differently. But you always should take your own opinion and go with your own opinion first. But this is just an alternate um, opinion like my man uh, HT Logistics say so. You know what I mean? This first podcast is going to be named um, where well, it's just going to be podcast one. And this was mainly for the people that's uh, I say you looking to get in the game right now and you looking for your first trucking company. That's what this podcast is for. So let's say you in the middle of Bumblefuck, Iowa. And oh man, I want to get my CDL. The first thing in my suggestion, you should look for is a company that has a terminal near your house. So you need to get on your Googles, try to find a company that's near your house. Why a terminal near your house? Because you want to get home for home time, right? If you get with a company that's in Florida and they don't have a terminal in Iowa, they're going to always run you all the way around the world before they can get you home. Meaning if you got an emergency, you need to get home for something. You just out here, you just look for like working this week. They always got to get their fuel money out that truck before they get you home. Versus if they got a terminal 10 miles from your house, you can get up most likely if you don't keep the same trailer. If you, you know, switch trailers in and out, especially if you had a mega carry, the Swifts, the Primes, the Warners, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, you can always pick a trailer up, take it to the terminal, and go home. So if I was looking for a t if I was looking for a company to go to, I'm a fresh rookie, just got my CDL. I'm first looking for a place that has a terminal near you. Second. The second thing I'll be looking for is, you know, the best word of mouth is drive, truck drivers. If you have access to other truck drivers in your life, you know, ask them. You know what I'm saying? The people out on the road is going to tell you the truth about companies. If you ask me about my company, I'm going to tell you I hate them. I hate them. Or I love them. I love them. If you talk to a recruiter, a recruiter's job is to get you in the building. They are not necessarily there to do what they told you they was going to do. But a person that's in the field, he's going to tell you the absolute truth at all times. I hate this company. I'm about to get ready to go over here. Or oh, I love this company. It's this and that. So if you don't have that, but if you don't have that um access, then go ahead and jump on YouTube University like the rest of us. I know you can't believe everything on the internet, but YouTube University is your second best option. Start doing your Googles. I mean, you got to remember this though. One, not one company it's going to satisfy every need you have. It's pros and cons to every company. What you got to what you got to go in and figure out is is the pros for you and is the cons you can deal with. So, first, find a comp try to find a company with a terminal next to your house. Two, try to see if you can get in touch with a couple of those drivers at major truck stops. I I ain't saying going up this being, you know what I mean? This ah oh, man, you you work for the company, but if you just Say you had a pilot and you see a Warner truck and it's a Warner by your house. If you see that man in the uh, if you see that man in the front seat, there's nothing wrong with that. It's knocking on the door. Most of us truck drivers, man, we friendly. Hey, 
This is me. My name is Craig. Hey, I was thinking about coming to Warren. I just want to know how you feel about the company. And he's going to let you know everything you need to know. So if you have a pilot, a TA, a loves, like I said, I ain't saying go out your way. I'm just saying if you are already there and you happen to go through the parking lot and see the truck there, hey, man, it's, it's worth taking a shot. Also, you need to look at the company. You need to know for me, because I went to Swiss Transportation. You need to know if it's a forced dispatch or non-forced dispatch. Forced dispatch meaning they can hit you at two o'clock in the morning, and if you if they want you to move this load, you got to do it, or you got to find another job. But if it's non-forced, you got an option to decline loads. If I'm in a sleeper. And I've been up all day waiting for a load, and I know it's not safe. I'm going to decline the load. Now let now, you, that's you can decline a load within reason. You just can't be declining the load just because you don't feel like driving the day of this and this and that. But sooner or later, you're going to fall out of favor with your DM. But if it's for safety reasons or some days you just don't have it out here, you can decline a load and not have a fear of losing your job. So you need to know if it's a force a non-force dispatch. Of course, pay. Hey, I mean, you're not coming out here to work for free, so it's the, it's the pay competitive. You know, is it 45 cent? Is it 60 cent? Is it 90 cent? Is it a dollar? Is it 24 cent? Is it 15 cent? Y'all need to know about the pay. And of course, the home time. You need to ask that question. Is you Are you uh, giving me one day for every six, seven days out? Or do you have leeway if I have uh, family emergency, can I take an extra day here or there? You know, you need to ask them type of questions. But one thing about it, let me see what we had, about seven minutes. Um, one thing though, when you go in here, do not believe what these recruiters say. Believe half of what they say and believe that the other half gonna be bullshit. Because a recruiter's job is to get you in the building. It's not to be honest with you. They don't have ethics. You know what I mean? Listen to what I'm telling you. The recruiter's job is to get you to orientation. And then you will really learn about the job after you're in orientation. So, you know, find a, so let's recap right quick because I don't want to keep these videos that long. Find a, find a, um, find a carrier that's in your area to have a terminal. Find out about the pay. See if you can find a driver that's got that same truck logo on his truck in the parking lot. Ask somebody. If not, go to YouTube University. You know, do your research. Um, find out is it forced or non-forced. And um, that way, if, and if you're going through a trucking school, you need to figure out, is they going to pay your way there? Do you have to find your way there? If you're going to a local school, then they you might be able to... Uh, qualify for a grant or if you got it like that man pay that pay that cheddar pay that cash and go ahead and get it but those are my few tips for trying to find a mega carrier i do have a few more i'll probably cover it in another uh video but hey st stick to them principles man and get your time in and you man you'll be out of here in no time until then man like share subscribe hey man comment Hey, hit the thumbs up, thumb down button. I don't care which one you do, man, but just uh, do one of the two. And holla at me, man. We'll get back with you. This trucker, this trucker CEO, man, and I'm out, man. Stay up, stay blessed.